Hi, and welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about Arai's Profile V helmet. It was launched in 2019, and this is Arai's mid-level sporty helmet. It costs $379.99 in plain colours, and it's $459.99 for the graphic schemes like this copy in flow yellow and white. So let's have a look in a little bit more detail. <laughs> Profile V runs Arai's PB ECLC shell construction. That stands for Peripherally Belted E Complex Laminate Construction. That means the fibres are arranged around the shell to give it more rigidity and to try and trans make sure those energy forces are transferred properly in an accident. What it also means is that there's extra strength around the base. It's what Arai call their hyper ridge. And one of the key distinctions about this Profile V compared to other Arai's is around the base. So it's five mil wider at the bottom here than other Arai's. If you look at the bottom, you, those who are real Arai fanboys might notice that it doesn't come in quite like the other Arai's, which means it's a, it's a wider entry point. The point being that it's easier to put on and it's easier to take off. Our guess is that Arai found that some people were complaining about the helmets being too difficult in that way. So this gives extra space. Whether it's much easier than other Arai's, I can't really tell you, but my experience is that it is easy to put on and take off. It runs the new visor system so that Arai have employed, which means you get more shell coverage on the helmet. Arai's philosophy on helmets is what they call their R75 shape. So there's more of a smooth, round shape to their, to their shells. You don't see the kind of adornments on Arai's that you'll see on other brands, because they want to keep this smooth shape for as much of the shell as they possibly can. And this vast visor system here means there's more shell. So this area here, they say there's an extra 24 mil of protection um, compared to the earlier Arai's. So Arai's scores early in the days of, sh of sharp helmets were quite low. They were generally around three stars. And since they brought in this VAS system, they've been getting fours and fives. It has increased their um, performance in that sense. Ventilation on this helmet probably isn't at the level that race helmets are at, but vent the venting on it is still really strong. So starting with the chin vent, it's a strong three-stage system. So you can have it fully closed, partially open, which does get a good strong amount of airflow in, and then fully open. So that air is coming direct through the chin bar. That really will get your tash flapping if you've got one like me. You've got the brow vents. Our eye are really well known for the brow vents. These just rotate on the top here around about the eyebrow to, to open and close there. And then inside, they, the air as it flows in scoops into these uh, ducts here, which then brings it through the interior. Again, that is really, really effective. And then two smaller vents on top. My experience of those is they're not quite as effective as the other two. You can hear them, you can hear the air coming across the top of the helmet and the noise as you're riding more than you can feel it. And then we've got the exhaust vents at the back, uh, permanently open, two vents, one each side on the rear. And then there's also an area here for air to escape around the base of the neck roll. So I briefly mentioned that VAS V visor system earlier, as well as increasing the amount of shell area for better protection because it sits lower, the side pod sits lower. It's also easier for absolute Arai novices to change a visor. The old system meant poking that visor between the side pod and the shell and hoping that you didn't fire the side pod into oblivion. Now, you just push this lever here, the side pod pops away and it's restrained within there. It's much easier to change the visor inside than it was before because you can actually see what you're doing. The Profile V also uses Arai's F1 derived latch system, this, part, this piece here which helps with locking and lifting. So if the visor is securely pushed down, it's held on a, on a lip here. Pushing that latch releases it from that lip and then you need to pull the visor away and lift. What that means is it's much more securely fastened against air getting underneath and lifting it. Can make it a little bit fiddly, fiddly and some of the customer reviews have mentioned that, but it's something that you quite quickly get used to, used to doing. And like all our eyes, it's, the visor is pinlock prepared and it comes with the pinlock in the box to keep your vision nice and clear. 
One thing to be aware of with helmets like the Profile V, like all our eyes, there's no internal sun visor. Our eye believe that any space taken up by an internal sun visor would be much better and is much better taken up by extra EPS to protect you in an accident. If you want a sun visor, the only way to do that with this helmet is to buy their Pro Shade visor, which is an external sun visor, and it's around £80 to buy the extra visor for that. Otherwise, you're going to be switching between tinted and clear visors not perfect for everybody, lots of people like that option, but that's, that's the way it's going to need to be with the Profile V. The Profile V's interior is old school RI, nothing high tech, nothing fancy, it's just a brushed nylon cove cover over good thick foam. It doesn't wick away moisture in the way that a top line helmet would. When I used this on a track day, it just didn't shift moisture in between the sessions, and when I came back out for my next session I had a, a soggy lid to put back on. That's one of the things that you really want a race helmet for is that moisture wicking capability. Something else to bear in mind with this Profile V is that some people say they don't have an RI head shape. For years I laboured under that impression that I didn't have an RI head shape. I've never really had one in the past that's completely suited me. I've got quite a long, what they would call a long oval head and this absolutely suits it perfectly. So if you're the sort of person who's always thought an RI isn't for you, this one might actually be worth a look because it's a bit different in terms of its fit to the others in my experience. A few other key details about the RI, like, like all RIs, D-ring fastener. It's a fully removable liner. Not all, all RIs have that, but this one, fully removable and washable liner. It's ACU approved, so you can use it for racing or on track. 2205 um, for road use too. I've covered a thousand miles in this Profile V and having done that, I see a lot more of why people who are RI devotees, I see a lot more of what they mean. It's been really comfortable. The ventilation on it's good on the road. And I think this is a really, really worthy addition to RI's range. I'm really glad they made this helmet. If you have any questions about RI's Profile V helmet, pop them in the comments section below and we'll do our best to get back to you about it. Thanks very much for watching.